if they are to pop, if they are to really surge and, and have one of these worst to first type things, it's probably going to be because Jaden Daniels surpasses significantly sur- surpasses expectations this fall. Um, but at the same time, I think the last week from Dan Quinn and Adam Peters has been a little bit of a reminder. Hey, guys, we're we're building this thing for the long term. I, I think the John Ridgway trade speaks to that on a minor level. I think the Jahan Dotson trade speaks to that on an even larger level. And we kind of got to talk to Dan Quinn and Ad, Adam Peters about balancing and then specifically sending Dotson out. It's the hardest day of the year. And... Um... First time doing it in this chair, and it, it's even harder. And, and but the good thing is, um, you know, these guys are all competitors, and they all took it hard. But uh, a lot of them wanted to be back here, and, and we're, we couldn't be more thrilled to have them. And uh, we're ready to go. We got our team, and I think obviously there's going to be, you know, not the final 53. I know you guys hit on that. You know, it's the initial 53, and there's still going to be moves that we make, but. We're thrilled with the guys we have here and can't wait to go to battle with them. As hard as the last couple days are, there's also a sense of like excitement to see this puzzle come together and, and clear it and go. And so when you have that, you can feel why we are so excited for this group and that's about to go out to practice. Uh, there are a group of guys that are absolutely going to go for it. And that's what we're looking for. So it's cool to see this puzzle come to life and see how it all fits together and the pieces fit together. And so like that's, it's a really cool experience and uh, you can feel our excitement for it because we know what they can do. And that's why we felt we were comfortable with making the moves we made. And um, the guys that we have now are getting better and better each week. And uh, not just the receiver room, but then you have uh, two, really three running backs that can catch the ball out of the backfield. And uh, one who's a specialist at it and, and Brian Robinson, who I think is uh, underrated at that and then Jeremy McNichols is a jack of all trades and then you got the tight end room where we got four really good tight ends on the roster and another a fifth one on the practice squad that can all catch the ball so that group of eligible receivers we think is really good and, and have gelled really well with with uh, Jaden in our estimation the the trade that we made was the best value for us and if there was players that we thought could help us and in, in the short and long term we would have considered that too but in, in, in the end we thought this was the best deal well, I think the front office there struck a really nice tone of trying to win now and also what the future looks like. And I think you can tell by what they've done across the roster at Cutdown Day that that's what they're trying to do.